So apparently, some of the voice actors and actresses who are accusing Vic Mignogna of being completely inappropriate in the workplace are not being entirely honest when they say that they are, expect or work with a professional attitude. As recently, there have been voice recordings that came out, uh, voices of, I believe, Sean Schemmel, Chris Sabat, even uh, Monica and some of the other female voice actor actresses in Dragon Ball Z. And they are completely inappropriate. Just like ridiculous jokes that they, for some reason, had recorded. And it sounds like, you know, some of them, maybe it's bloopers, maybe they're just being funny while they're recording the actual episode. But some of them actually sound like they were part of a parody production. Maybe they were like putting something, some kind of weird porn parody together of Dragon Ball for themselves. And in order to, to make that whole thing, they were misusing a lot of uh, video clips and music that they had access to. And the one that people would probably cite as the worst is the one with Sean Shamel voice of Goku himself. Just to like give you some context of what the voice recording was like. Hey, look at those faggot ass clothes! Faggot, faggot, fag, fucking fag, my son's a fag. So what was it they were saying about Vic Mignogna being a homophobe again? Once again, like I said, it's obvious he's just joking. <laughs> He's not saying it in any real-world context, but it's still derogatory, and Funimation's policy is generally against derogatory slurs, especially being said in the voice of your character, right? So the idea is that Vic Mignogna was fired because he was being inappropriate in the workplace, and then you have this and many others. Only the best I'll play for you, because I'm sure you'll, you'll probably want to watch all of them and I'll leave a link below where you can listen in on every every single voice recording that came out. But obviously it shows a load of hypocrisy with the judgment of Vic Manana, who they don't even really have as solid proof as this for him being over the top derogatory or, you know, inappropriate in the workplace. Like, I think the main example that they have is that he might have eaten a jelly bean and said, hey, I ate Monica. And then that's that's the big inappropriate thing he did in the workplace. I mean, especially now in 2019, you could definitely get fired for, for saying this, even if it was in a joking manner, because people can still be offended. And I can understand also using the word in a joking manner, not meaning anything by it. And I don't think he meant anything by it in this video clip. Generally speaking, I think like, some words are just funny to say. Like, I think bitch is a funny word. <laughs> Maybe that's derogatory towards women, but I just think it's funny. But of course, there's more. There's always more. Well, you know, I wouldn't keep anything from my fans. <laughs> Not even this gorgeous cock. <laughs> so, Hercule Satan. Talking about his gorgeous cock. Then we have another Goku one. One more request. It has to do with our training regime. Will you guys suck me off until I come all over your faces? <laughs> it's another another Goku one. You know, um, obviously Sean being inappropriate during the the workplace, making sexual jokes. Apply the sacred ointment, Popo. Oh yes, Kami. Yes, right there. Oh, that feels so good, Mr. Popo. I do my best, but Mr. Popo does not fuck. You must, Popo. It is, it is for me. Whoa, what's wrong? Uh, um, nothing, Yamcha. It's, it's, it's nothing. Mr. Popo and I have a, a special relationship. Oh, my Popo knows how to handle balls. He collected all the balls last time. No way! Let me have some of that. It's my ointment. I need it. I need it for Piccolo. Kami, what's going on here? This goes on for a while. Apply the sacred ointment on me. No way! I need some. Bend over, young child. No! You can't be! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah, more of that. No! Okay, I'm just 
we're gonna stop it right here. Uh, that would be a Chris <laughs> uh, a whole, a whole production, a whole it says DBZ audio drama over here. Yeah, that's that's the word. To describe. Absolute drama, uh, containing but not limited to you know, rape jokes, incest jokes, obviously jokes but also inappropriate, and they had this all saved. The least you could have done was like delete it afterwards, but they had it all saved, and I guess they thought it would be hilarious. Maybe, you know, just even as a, a whole inside, just an inside joke with just the click crowd, they thought, oh, this is so funny. We better hope no one else sees this. And maybe some of you might think, oh, well, that's just around the guys, right? Maybe the guys just, um, maybe all guys are just super inappropriate, but as long as you're not being inappropriate with the women, you know. The last clip we have here is, um, well, there's not a lot of audio, or, well, the audio is, like, very low in some sections, so it's kind of a weird clip. It's nobody in character, it's just them talking, and it was still recording while they were talking. Uh, it's really weird. I think it sounds as though they were high. These are some of the female voice actresses, including but not limited, limited to Monica Rial. And it really just starts off with someone saying, oh, look at that hard one. And eventually that just leads to absolute laughter and them like joking about, uh, rape and vaginas and just more examples of inappropriate behavior. And this time between the gals. Alright, the hard one. Pole eater. Uh, uh, uh. I'm too gum. <laughs> I need her vagina. Oh, Is that bad there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're high. <laughs> nah, do just, I? just a do whisper I? room. It's just a whisper room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rape corner and I. Rape corner. So, you know, you have an example of some of the girls having this type of joking behavior between themselves, inappropriate, sexual in nature, and nobody seems very sensitive about it. Nobody seems to care. It's almost like they make these jokes all the time with each other, and there's no real problem with it. Except when it comes to Vic. It seems as though they're singling him out as being someone who's not allowed to make, not allowed to make those jokes with us, or uh, they're not part, he's not part of the inner circle, only the inner circle can make those types of jokes, and if you are not part of that circle and you make those types of jokes, then you're a rapist, you're a sexual harasser, and we're going to report you and get you fired. There are more clips, and I'll leave a link below where you can listen to them all, so be sure to look below so that you can find it and get the get the full picture. I think this is an obvious sign that people in the Funimation workplace are, they have no problem with being inappropriate. They have no problem with these types of jokes. And it's really more a problem that they have with specific people. And now that these leaks have come out, we have this kind of awkward situation with Funimation. They've just fired someone for being inappropriate in the workplace. So, what are you gonna do about these leaks, Funimation? What are you gonna do about all your other voice actors in the production being inappropriate in the workplace? Are they going next? Are you gonna say that no, that doesn't count? It doesn't count if people are okay with it and you just gotta take a gamble? You just gotta take a gamble to see if, if your friends are okay with you making those types of jokes? Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. And it, it doesn't look good. <laughs> It doesn't look good. I don't know what they're going to do. But I don't think anyone's gonna really get fired over this. I mean, you got voice of Goku. He's the main character of Dragon Ball. Difficult to replace that voice actor. But it's also the most difficult to defend that voice actor. Being that he was... 
<laughs> he not only said fag, he said it a million times in a row. And like, I get it. You're joking. Whatever. I don't really care, but a lot of people are gonna care. Especially when there are double standards in place. I think if there isn't an apology already out by the time I upload this video, there's probably going to be an apology soon. Sean Schemmel talking about the video clip. I mean, all of them are bad, but not all of them use a derogatory term for homosexuals, so. But uh, definitely be sure to tell me what you think about the audio leaks that came out recently, what you think about the kind of hypocrisy that you see going on in Funimation, and how do you think that they should deal with this? What do you think would be the professional way to go about it? I mean, they just stood up for these voice actors who are just being hypocrites, who were just plotting together to get this one guy fired for whatever reason. And they didn't mind dragging his reputation through the mud in order to get him out of Funimation. And I'm sure a lot of you who've already heard this news uh, heard it from the Ricardo Law livestream where he's been covering the entire case. And if you, you know, if you're very interested in the case, I would watch his stream so that you know the entirety of what's been going on. So as usual guys, remember to like the video, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Program restart.